Fire nursing home employees prep a $550,000 claim over county vaccine mandate and higher facility assessment fees would fund measures to improve staffing and reduce resident density in Illinois. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, May 26th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member for only $30 a year. You can enroll quickly on our website at NACACNA.org. 11 former Wisconsin nursing home staff could seek a total of $550,000 in damages from the county that allegedly fired them for refusing to submit to its COVID-19 vaccine mandate. The former staff filed notice of claim with the state's Rock County earlier this month, which starts proceedings that could result in legal action against the government entity. Stakeholders around the country have debated the implications and legality of vaccination mandates creating divided opinions. The claim stems from a local mandate that ordered employees at the county-run nursing home Rock Haven to receive the Moderna vaccine during scheduled clinics earlier this year. The affected employees argued that the vaccine requirement violates federal law that gives people a right to decline emergency authorized vaccines. The employees said that they were later laid off for refusing to submit to the mandate. The 11 workers would each seek $50,000 in lost wages, benefits, and reimbursement of legal fees if a lawsuit moved ahead, according to the notice. A Rock County Board Committee last week recommended that the county discontinue the vaccine mandate as a condition of employment and reinstate all workers who were laid off. A full county vote on the mandate is expected to happen by the end of this week. Illinois lawmakers are looking to increase assessment fees paid by nursing homes in order to fund a proposed law that aims to change the way providers are reimbursed in a push to reduce understaffing and reduce overcrowding in nursing home facilities. The legislative proposal was introduced last week in the state's General Assembly. Lawmakers hope to pass the bill before the end of May. Under the bill, the state would change its reimbursement formula to be based on the patient-driven payment model rather than the number of services performed. It also would end payments for rooms with three or more roommates. The bill also proposes increasing reimbursement to providers that hire more nurses and aides. The Healthcare Council of Illinois described the legislation as a, quote, dramatic policy that would significantly disrupt care. It has called for an alternative measure that includes establishing a one-time payment per bed to help facilities recover from the pandemic, a guaranteed rate floor for managed care and increasing the nursing home bed tax to the federal minimum. The additional funding could go towards staffing recruitment and wages. Currently, Illinois spends about $2.5 billion for nursing home care, with Medicaid covering about 60% of those costs. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week. And I'll see you on Wednesday.